I guess my first question for you is, you know, how do you see how do you see the uh, uh, the advances of generative AI at Meta today, and how do you apply it to either enhance your operations or introduce new capabilities that you're offering? Yeah. So. Oh. A lot to unpack there. First of all, really happy to be here. Um, you know, Meta has done a lot of work and uh, has, has been at SIGGRAPH for you know, eight years. So I mean, it's a, you know, we're noobs compared to, to you guys. But um, you know, I think it was back in in 2018. You're dressed right, but this is my hood. I just you know, it's I mean, well, thank you for welcoming me to your hood. <laughs> um, you know, I think it was back in 2018 we 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 showed the some of the early hand tracking work on um, for our VR and mixed reality headsets. Um, you know, I think we've talked a bunch about the progress that we're making on codec avatars, the photorealistic um, avatars that we want to be able to drive from consumer headsets, which we're getting closer and closer to, so pretty excited about that. And also, a lot of the display systems work that we've done. So um, some of the future prototypes and research for getting the mixed reality headsets to be able to be really thin, but with, like, with just um, you know, pretty advanced optical stacks and, and display uh, systems, the, the integrated system, I and mean, that's that's been stuff that we've typically uh, shown here first. So um, excited to be here, uh, you know, this year, not just talking about the metaverse stuff, but but also um, all the AI pieces, which, as you said, I mean, we started FAIR, uh, the, the AI Research Center, um, at, you know, back then it was Facebook, now Meta, uh, before we started Reality Labs, I and mean, we've been at this for, for a while. Um, the, you know, all the stuff around Gen AI, it's it's an interesting revolution, and, and and I think that it's going to it's going to end up making I think all of the different products that we do you know different in in in, in interesting ways. I mean, I, I kind of go through. You can look at the big product lines that we have already. So things like the you know feed and recommendation systems and Instagram and Facebook, and we've kind of been on this journey where that's gone from just being about connecting with your friends and. The ranking was always important because you know, even when you were just, um, you know, following friends, you know, if, if someone did something really important, like your cousin had a baby or something, it's like you want that at the top. You'd be pretty angry at us if we, you know, it was buried somewhere down in your feed. Um, so the ranking was was important. But now over the last few years, it's gotten to a point where more of that stuff is um, is just different public content that's out there. The recommendation systems are super important because now instead of just a few hundred or thousand potential candidate posts from friends. Um, there's millions of, of, of pieces of content and that turns into like a really interesting recommendation problem. And with generative AI, um, I think we're gonna quickly move into this zone where not only is, is the majority of the content you know, that you see today on Instagram, you know, just recommended to you from kind of stuff that's out there in the world that matches your interests and whether or not you follow the people. I think in the future, a lot of the stuff is gonna be created with these tools too. Some of that is gonna be creators using the tools to create new content. Some of it, I think eventually, is going to be content that's either created on the fly for you um, or, or, or kind of pulled together and synthesized through different things that are out there. So I think that that's just one example of how kind of the core part of what we're doing is just going to evolve and it's been evolving for for 20 years already but I think well, very that's few gonna... people realize that that uh, one of the largest computing systems the world has ever conceived of yeah. is a recommender system yeah and, I mean it's this and... whole yeah it's this whole different path right it's it's not quite the kind of gen AI hotness that people talk about but I think it's it's like as I mean it's all the transformer architectures and it's this, a similar thing of just building up more and more general models embedding embedding unstructured data into features and yeah, I mean, one of the big things that just drives quality improvements is, you know, it used to be that you'd have a different model for each type of content, right? So a, a recent example is, you know, we had, you know, one model for ranking and recommending reels and another model for ranking and recommending more long form videos. And then, you know, take some product work to basically make it so that the system can display, you know, anything in line. But you know, the more you kind of just create more general recommendation models that can span everything, it just gets better and better. So I mean, part of it I think is just like economics and liquidity of content and the broader of a pool that you can pull from. You're, you're just not having these weird inefficiencies of pulling from different pools. But yeah, I mean, as the models get bigger and more general, that gets better and better. So I, I kind of dream of one day, like you can almost imagine all of Facebook or Instagram being 
you know, like a single AI model that has unified all these different content types and systems together that actually have different objectives over different time frames, right? Because some of it is just showing you, you know, what's the interesting content that you're going to be, that, that you want to see today. But some of it is helping you build out your network over the long term, right? People you may know or accounts you might want to follow. And these these multimodal models yeah. tend to be, yeah. tend to be much better at recognizing patterns, weak yeah. signals and such. And yeah. so one of the things that people, people always, you know, it's so interesting that AI has been so deep in your company. You've been building GPU infrastructure, running these large recommender systems for a long time. Now yeah. you're now I'm you're a little slow on it, actually, getting to GPUs. Yeah, I was trying to be nice. I know. Well, you know, too nice. I was trying to be nice. You know, well, you're, well, you're I, my you guest. Know, when I was backstage before I came on here, <laughs> you were talking about like owning your mistakes or something, right? So <laughs> you don't have to volunteer it out of the blue. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one has been well tried. Yeah, it's yeah. like I got raked over. But the as soon as you got into it, while, you got, you know? as soon as you got into it, you got into it strong. 